Micropolitan means that the largest city in your county is between the population of 10 and 50,000 people. One thing I like about this award is objective. So it's really results driven, which is our office is results driven every single year. And what it takes a look at is our projects that invest over a million dollars that have built 20,000 square feet or more or hired 50 or more individuals. So if you have one project that does meets one of those criteria it counts. Last year we were fortunate to have 22 different companies meet that criteria. We had over a thousand new jobs and over a hundred million dollars of capital investment. And when you total all those up, for communities our size in the United States is about 575. And for the third year in a row, we had the most capital investment, new construction, and job creation of all those communities. One is a recognition of what our employers have been doing, the environment that we've created for them to invest in. But really, from a marketing standpoint, we're still a community of 41,000 people, a county of 75,000 people. So anything that we can show that we're the best at in the country and market and get in front of some of these investors that are looking to find places to invest in residential, retail, commercial, we don't always make their list initially. So this gives us an opportunity to, to tell our story and hopefully find some more development. We do have a lot more jobs than we have people. In fact, about 56% of our workforce comes from outside Hancock County every single day. So what we're working on is the attraction of more people to our community, more university graduates that are coming here to, to learn. We'd like them to stick around. We have people who migrate every day from outside the county inside, but we have people who live inside the county who leave every single day. So it is a, it is a numbers that we're trying to work on and an attraction, so quality of life and and everything that we're trying to do within our community to make it a more attractive place to live. And we need more residential development as well. But yeah, right now we have about 800 to 1,000 open positions. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because you see growth within the community. You have a natural turnover of people retiring. So, but we could always use more people. We partner with the university in a lot of different ways. We talk about the Finley formula for being uh, our motto on how we work, and that is collaboration. The university is one of our top collaborators. Every time we travel overseas, it could be to India, Japan, Brazil, Europe. Uh, President Fell travels with us quite frequently, but we also have a lot of other resources when we go to Japan. Dr. Kawamura is instrumental in setting up the trips, going with us, uh, helping to translate you name it, he's involved when we go to Japan. We work a lot with Dr. Rentschler in the business school. They do studies for us, they can give us graduate students. I think we've had four or five interns from the University of Finley over the past four or five years. So really almost on a daily basis, we're working with the university. Uh, they're, they're not only a top employer in the community, but a, a resource for our office. <music>